I'm gonna grab this third icon here. This is our polygon mask. And what polygon mask lets us do is draw a custom shape with the pen tool and use it as a mask. I'm gonna connect this to my merge and make sure that I'm looking at my merge here in the viewer. And then I'm gonna be really careful in tracing out these rocks. Basically anything that would go in front of the fire, that's what I want to trace out right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just maybe start over here and I'm just gonna kind of click and drag around these rocks and this piece of wood like this, maybe this rock. And once I get far enough away from the fire, I can just kind of fill in the rest of this. So now we have a shape that kind of defines the edge of those rocks. But as we apply this to the merge, what we're telling it to do is only merge this fire over within this mask. So it's literally the opposite of what we want to happen. So instead of that, we're gonna take this polygon mask and I'm gonna go over here to the inspector and I'm gonna click invert. Invert is gonna make the outside of this shape white and the inside black instead of the inside white and the outside black. And white is where you're telling that node to do its thing. So let's select the outside of this and then in merge one, now we have this kind of cutout here to where we only see the fire on the outside of this little mask. 